Hello everyone, this is Martin from Extreme uh, Senses Software. So, um, in this uh, video, I'm going to be doing an overview of Phasma Communicator version 3. Uh, I will go quickly over the different uh, features of uh, this application. But uh, keep in mind, uh, if you want to have more details, when you buy the software, there's a help file. So I'm not going to go through all the details. Uh, you could look at the help file. There's a lot of information in there about the um, application and its functionalities. All right. That being said, uh, what is FASMA Communicator? Well, basically, is uh, an application to let the spirit use the uh, intern an internal dictionary of words uh, in English. Uh, which you can change well we'll go through over that uh, a little bit later and it's um, using the text-to-speech engine of Microsoft uh, or of your Microsoft Windows operating system so there's no banks at all and uh, with this application also uh, spirits can in theory use uh, uh, to communicate the, the, the dictionary but also picture responses there's a hundred thirty five included the picture that they can use to uh, communicate with you also you can use your own and uh, there's a paranormal radar to uh, show themselves if you want in, in or you can uh, tell you uh, if they're close or not and we will go in details after that and there's uh, of course um, There's up more details on the website and like I said You can look at the help file. So let's start The first uh, thing we have here is this panel here is the uh, detection panel where uh, you're gonna see the, the spoken words uh, from the application that the spirits uh, used uh, and also you will have a timestamp uh, meaning that uh, what date and what time you got that response the last one and also the uh, previous one uh, just uh, at the, with the timestamp and uh, date and time um, and here we have the picture response with the timestamp also uh, above it Whereas the last time that they responded uh, with the date in time. Um, in that part, you can choose to uh, use the internal uh, dictionary, which is 1500 English words by default, and words and also short sentences, um, and 135 pictures for the picture response, like I said. So if you want to change that, you can change the uh, internal words with your own words or um, you can merge a list of words you made and you can then uh, merge it with the 1500. You can have up to 10,000 words uh, uh, loaded up at the time at the same time maximum. Um, and uh, for the pictures, uh, there's not really a limit. You choose a folder and can have a thousand pictures if you want in it. It's uh, up to you. So uh, what kind of, how do you in, include your own words? You need um, a file that, um, you need a file that has a list of one word per uh, line so I'll open this and as you can see here I have different words and numbers or and they're all one line on uh, one word on each line of this so this is an example this is how you should create your own word uh, file word or your own word dictionary um, so if we want to load uh, this type of file, you click the plus sign here, and I'm gonna choose that one. This is 500 words. So 
it's gonna ask me if I would like to merge it with the uh, existing 1500 or just use the 500. You need a minimum of 200 words if you plan to use only words and like I said a maximum of 10,000. Um, so we're gonna merge it and if in your word list you have uh, not uh, uh, you have uh, non alphanumeric uh, characters or or or, or like uh, for example uh, I don't know a question mark oh, a question mark I think is accepted but um, percentage things like that they will be removed so I'm gonna say I'm gonna merge it so I have a uh, thousand nine hundred fifty uh, words now um, as you can see this 500 50 missing sorry and that's because they were not alphanumeric um, so they were cleaned out of the file you can uh, use this to uh, reset to the internal dictionary you just click this and we'll be back to 1500 and if I want to choose my own folder of pictures uh, I will select on my computer I have already made that previously but you on your computer I don't know where it would be but you just choose your, your folder that has JPEG format uh, pictures so I'm gonna choose this and I have 214 pictures in my uh, folder so it's gonna be using that for picture responses now below we have the wave uh, we have uh, I'm sorry we have different uh, information that are gathered from your computer I'm using um, uh, the Wi-Fi adapter or the in Ethernet adapter the network adapter it depends how you call it but I'm using either one of those adapters you should have that one or the other in a computer by default in these days so you should have and I would be using that to gather data for for uh, different fluctuations of data I'm using that to calculate that and transpose that to the LED like display here that's the raw data that's coming in and then the fluctuation and then this one here is more a little bit more precise but it's really linked with this experiment and we just got a yes we just got a response experiment as you can see it's spoken and it used the default language that was on my Windows system so it speaks like a woman but that's the default that's installed on my Windows operating system so let's get back to this this graph here like I said is linked to this and then you have the data that I'm transposing here and this one is the R flux energy graph which uh, basically is, an, I think that's the, the most important one here because if you get a high level at some point and it goes there, that means there's a high level of, of uh, data coming in and it probably means that the spirit trying to uh, speak out and trying to communicate with you and will use either a, a picture response or a word response and as you can see here well we do we did have it a high flukes but no uh, no uh, picture responses or words it can happen can have a response but you have most likely a response again we have another high level of our flux uh, energies coming in so we might have some response after that I don't know all right so we didn't get any so this here is the paranormal radar you can have different little icons that will appear here at a different level of distance the approximate distance is about 35 yards this is a high level uh, calculation because I'm not it cannot be 100% precise um, and this is uh, your computer or you if you want the middle part so when you see uh, an icon and we I certainly hope we're gonna have some in this overview to show you but uh, there's uh, different colors of icons that might appear so there's the red one which is a low uh, uh, 
low signal if you want and then we have the um, the ye yellow one which is okay a level of, uh, of uh, energy and we have the green one which is good and we have the blue one that could appear which is really really good uh, it appears more not as much as the other colors and also a, the more it's close to here the more it means it's probably close to you and with the level of uh, energy I explained to you just before um, below here we have the history list of activities uh, this is when you have a spoken word and you receive a response of a word it will be logged here as you can see and the same thing for a picture response if I go back I had one earlier if I click on it it will show me because that's the last one but if I take this other one and for example, oh here we go this is the uh, picture response I got at 1244 um, you uh, can uh, uh, look in the folder where the picture is if you want you click on that it's gonna go in the folder where all these picture responses were uh, uh, Copied if you want they're very small Because to keep the disk space low because you don't really need big ones. It's just a, it's a very small uh, size um, And also uh, in a, And also on the uh, on the uh, history list you're gonna see um, if you have uh, on the paranormal radar how many spirits will appear well it would be logged so the last time I had 12 13 uh, 13 13 sorry two that appeared on the radar Train. and uh, so it will be logged and you can save this list into a text file which is uh, could be useful if you want to uh, analyze that later on and clear well I'll do it now but it will clear everything in the list but not delete uh, uh, I mean it will delete all everything in the list so you, you have to make sure so the list is clear now if um, there's uh, this is the D this button here will uh, you can change the user interface the looks of it so there's a there's this is the default one when you open the first for the first time Fasma communicator but there's you can cycle through that there's 10 skins that you can use and uh, and you can change uh, the way you like it you know this is the ones that come with it if um, you for example you choose that one when you close the application it will when we restart it it will be that one that will be shown so it's always the last one chosen that will be uh, used when you start Fasma communicator um, here you can hide or show the, the history list like this so it's not deleting anything in the list it's just uh, hiding the list if you want a more clean uh, interface uh, this is a settings panel where you can enable disable the sound effects when you have a, a radar detection or a picture response it's gonna be uh, there's a sound effects different for each and you can disable that by default it's enable um, you can also disable the uh, when it speaks uh, with the voice you can disable that by default is going to save your history list and uh, and it also by default was saved a thumbnail of the like I said the little pictures there when it has a picture response it will be saved and you can click here to open the folder where they are saved and the enable G link is when you have X paranormal detector premium uh, running at the same time it will log the words also in the history list of experimental detector it's like a link between the two um, and let's close this here we have the help file like I explained this is the about box with the version and uh, also as a bonus if you want I included an application I did really uh, quickly 
so that application is not supported at all only fastma communicator communicator is uh, supported so the tool here it allows you to quickly create a list of words with just a regular text file any text file so i'll show you an example uh, for as an example you can download uh, an ebook that's in a text format uh, you can go on this website i even put a link on the tool you go on this website you download an ebook in text format and then you can transform this ebook into a list of words a dictionary of words that you can use after that with Fastmo Communicator. So I'll show you how, but again, that tool is not supported. It's used, it's offered as is. So I'm gonna load up uh, on a, an ebook I already downloaded from Anna Karinina. It's in English. So wait a couple of seconds. And there we have the book loaded up. As you can see, I'm not gonna read it, but now I want to convert it to a, a list of words. And before I click that, you'll notice that I have auto remove duplicates. That will remove all the duplicate words. So you, base, it's better not to have duplicate words. So it's gonna be, remove every duplicate words that it finds. And it's gonna limit the list to 10,000 words also because that's the maximum FASMA communicator accepts. So if I click convert, might take, uh, depending on the size of the book, might take a couple of seconds, a minute. And there we go. So in the original text file, there was 350,000 words or so. So it cut down to 10,000 words like what we want without any duplicates and uh, please uh, take note that i tested this little uh, tool with french english spanish german italian and and a couple of other uh, text files different languages they all work but some languages will not work like chinese japanese korean and and possibly more because you know these are non uh, not like the, the English characters or similar to English characters or French characters so um, they're more non-standard for this tool so they will not work so let's save this file this uh, list so it's a uh, my 10,000 word dictionary All right and there we go so it's saved, we can close this. Now, if I'm gonna use that new list I just created, I go here and I use this here and it asks me if I want to uh, merge it. I'm gonna say no, I just want the new list. 10,000 words have been loaded. And it's gonna use that now from my list, my pictures because I changed it earlier. That's, uh, that's it. So that's it. Um, again, uh, this is the premium edition of uh, Fastmo Communicator, and uh, you can go on the website for more details. And also, you can um, there's a demo, a very cut down demo of it, uh, because a lot of features are not uh, in the demo, of course. But you can look at the matrix. Uh, chart that's on the product page to see the difference between the demo and the premium paid edition so thank you very much and also uh, don't forget there's a help file on it and there's a lot of information in that before writing an email to me and also there's a web page of the product details thank you very much and have a good day